Today we find ourselves exploring a church complex on the outskirts of downtown Detroit. What once was a religious space catering to the masses now sits a post-apocalyptic wonderland. Join us as we explore the sad story of this complex and discover what was left behind. to go first then. Yeah. Those are the rules. Yeah, you can pull over first. <laughs> it's a little bit of a doozy, but... Cool. Thank you. Now I'll film as Jake falls through. Watch this, ready? We found ourselves entering the first building which operated as the church's Sunday school. Also included were several rooms that made up office spaces for the pastor, along with the church's administration. The rooms that had once held important meetings and teachings had now fallen quiet. Only the sounds of decay remain. It's actually just untouched. Is it really? A photographer hadn't done this. No, like legit, but like nobody's really been in here. Unbelievable. That's awesome. Is that like the pasture up there? Yeah. Jeez, this whole place is like relatively untouched then. Built on the bones of another church that operated from 1904 to 1924, this complex was constructed to house the growing religious community in the area, promising a Sunday school, temporary residence, and a stunning church building with more than triple the occupancy of its predecessor. It's like an old dumbwaiter in there. You can see the well. I probably would have used this rope system here. Very interesting. Today's exploration contains a little more narration than usual, and that's because I'm putting in practice some creative writing skills I've learned through this video's sponsor, Skillshare. I found classes by Roxanne Gay and Marcus Brownlee to be great resources in expanding my knowledge and understanding of writing a script. They have taught me how to properly structure and convey my ideas, along with the importance of keeping an organized research document when writing scripts for my videos. Before, I was an unorganized mess, and now, I'm still kind of an unorganized mess, but I'm getting better thanks to Skillshare. Skillshare is a whole online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for any learning endeavor. They're also being super generous in offering the first 1,000 viewers that sign up using either the code UNCHARTEDTRAVEL0522 or the direct link in the description, a one-month free trial to all of Skillshare's content. So if there's a skill you've been wanting to learn, there's no reason not to try Skillshare today. Now back to the video. Holy, look at like the gilding on the ceiling. That's awesome. This is like up here. Yeah. <laughs> I came up here and like, I've never seen a, something like this before, like a church at your house. This is just like right on the second floor. Yeah, this might be like where they had like Sunday school or something, like you know, yeah. and where they take the kids whenever they had like mass or whatever. Although the church had been abandoned for a while now, it appeared as if someone was still looking after it. Some broken boards and joists were replaced by new ones, while other areas had been falling apart for quite some time. Oh, you can see right down to the next floor here. This raised the trivial question of who? The city? The church's last inhabitants? Or perhaps a mysterious third party that had bought and dumped the property in the past decade? They had some sort of like stage back here. Like I said, they 
they they did kind of keep up with this place. They they locked it down as best they could. Right. Do you know if they had any plans to refurbish it at all, or like? Oh, no. Maybe they just connected the two. Yeah. Because it is weird because um, I think this is the only way to get in. And it's super awkward because you have to step over this. Oh, yeah, this is definitely an addition. Or maybe they combine the two buildings with this somehow. Oh, careful, Jake. Oh, my God. You like it? It's like Holy. The, uh, after more than two years of construction, the church held its first service in September of 1926 and grew to be one of the largest churches in the city with over 2,000 members. With big crowds came big funding, and in early 1950, the church was heavily renovated with a completely remodeled ceiling, updated stained glass windows, along with a new massive mural which was given the name Supper at a Mao. Look at this place. They still have all the fabric on the pews here. Everything's covered in a layer of... Um, and look, Brennan, I'm sitting in like so, the yeah. infinity baptism. Yeah, you're getting baptized here. This probably would have been like a confessions room here. Or you'd light a candle and say a prayer. And you can hear water dripping in, rotting away the old wooden banisters there. The good times didn't last, however. As motor companies began to pull out of the city, causing people to move away, the church saw a great decline in its membership throughout the 60s and 70s, until attendance rates dropped so low that it was forced to close in 1978. This is really decayed back here too. old breaker box. They had a bed, maybe this is where the priest would stay? You can see the mattress is long gone, but it looks like a hospital bed because they had the railings or they had the uh, arms that would come up when they'd wheel someone on this bed but I don't know what a hospital bed would be doing inside a church here Sort of sound mixer here. You can see they could have adjusted like the treble, reverb, volume. I'm guessing this was for like the microphones or the choir or the organ that they had. Oh, Bible lessons for kids. Things were looking grim for the property, and as the complex sat abandoned for many years, the homeless moved in claiming a few of the outbuildings, until one of them eventually caught fire in 1999. Man, the level of decay in here is crazy. I don't know if I'd trust anything on that, like, upper floor. You, you can see the, the floor joists are, like, out of the socket there, and it's just like this whole wing has come down. I wonder if this was sitting in the corner and maybe the weight of it. It looks like it. it. looks like it may have been where the organ was. And like while people are scrapping it, the organ probably just fell through. Okay, do 
don't want to walk too much on here because you can see the floor is just completely collapsed in that corner. But you can see. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just the door. No, don't worry. Right there is probably where the organ or mic would have plugged into and they would have been able to mix it. Careful in this room because there's people in apartments right across from us. These windows have all been smashed out. back out into this massive church. The burnt out buildings were demolished in 2008 and the complex was sold to a missionary Baptist church who fixed up the building and continued to hold services in it. This was until their funds ran dry, causing them to vacate the property in 2011. a fall fundraiser. Probably one of the last events held in this church. Some sort of coat hanger, a coat rack here. what looks like various donations to the church that have now been abandoned. We're gonna head upstairs now. I believe this is probably where the choir would have sat during church. just see the metal sheeting completely coming off. Standing out on the second floor, looking out over this decaying church left a feeling of awe that I cannot describe. Through the cracked walls and decaying ceilings, it was clear this building had not had any visitors in quite some time. Since its abandonment over a decade ago, there has been no interest in the property, and now its only inhabitants are a few pigeons that live in the bell tower. The fate and future of this church remain unknown, as it slowly succumbs to decay, lost to time. Thank you for watching.